Hello everyone, my name is Liz Bowden and I'm going to be your Year 6 Maths online learning teacher. I've been working together in collaboration with the Hammock Academy Trust to produce 10 sessions that cover the Year 6 Place Value Unit of Learning. Okay, some of you may recognise me, I usually teach at a school in Southampton called Thornhill Primary School. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you and we are going to get started. So what you will need for this session and all of my sessions, um, you'll need a pencil or a pen, something to write with and a sheet of paper to do any working out and to write your answers down on. Okay. So at the start of each session, we'll have a warm up, which is going to be five quick arithmetic questions um, that I want you to have a go at. So I'm going to give you five minutes um, to have a go at these and then we'll go through the answers together. So what I want you to do is pause the screen. Give yourself five minutes, have a really good go at them, and then join me back in just a second and we'll go through all of the answers together, okay? Right, so answers. Okay, we're gonna go through these in quite a lot of detail today, but throughout the week, um, it'll be less and less detail because hopefully um, you'll have picked up the methods um, really well. Okay, so question A was 294 plus 70. So I've laid mine out in a column addition method, okay? Um, but making sure that I've lined up the place value digits correctly. because obviously we've got a three digit number and a two digit number, but we must make sure the ones digits and the tens digits are in line. And then there isn't a hundreds digit in the second number. So we've only got the two in the hundreds column, okay? So when we're adding, make sure we're adding from the right hand side. So the ones um, digits first. So four plus zero is four. Nine plus seven is 16, okay? So we put the six and 16 down because that's our ones digit and then carry the tens digit to the next column. So under the hundreds column, then we've got two plus one is three. Okay, so question A was 364. Give yourself a tick if you've got that one right. Question B was 4,697 plus 2,534. Okay, these were both four digit numbers. So they line up um, nicely for you without you having to think about it. Okay, so starting from the ones digits again, so seven plus four is 11. So put the ones digit down, carry the tens. Nine plus three is 12, plus the extra one that we've just carried is 13. So put the three down, because it's the ones digit, carry the tens into the hundreds column. So six plus five is 11, add the one that we've just carried, 12. So the two down and carry the tens digit into the thousands column. Then we've got four plus two is six, plus one, seven. Okay, so answer for question B was 7,231. Okay, C was three times eight, which hopefully you should know like that from your multipl multiplication facts, okay? So three times eight was 24. Well done if you got that one right. Um, 500, uh, D was 564 times eight. So I've laid mine out using column multiplication. Okay, um, you may use a different method, but that's fine if you get the right answer. Okay, so starting with our ones digit. So we're multiplying by eight. Okay, so the first thing we do is eight times four. So eight fours are 32. So again, the same as we were doing with addition. So put the ones digit down, carry the tens. So three. Then eight times six, okay, is 48, lovely, add the three on that we've just carried, 51. So put the one down, carry the five. And then eight times five is 40, add the five, 45. Okay, so our answer was 4,512. Okay, then our last question, 80 times five. Okay, 80 sounds like a big number, but if you know eight times five, you definitely know 80 times five, okay? So eight times five is 40. Because 80 is 10 lots of eight, we can multiply the answer by 10. So 40 times 10 would be 400, okay? So 80 times five is 400, okay? Give yourself a score out five, hopefully. Um, if you didn't manage to get five by the end of the week with all the practice, you'll be aiming for those fives all around, okay? So let's get started. So today we're going to be focusing on um, reading and writing numbers up to 10 million, okay? So this one I'm going to do on my own, okay? Follow along with it. We're going to have a go at doing a couple together and then you've got some um, tasks to have a go at independently, okay? So this first one, the first thing I'm going to do is read my number out loud, okay? So I've got 3,748,000 
423. Okay, so I'm just going to pop on the um, place value column headings for you, just so as you can see that. So we've got 3 million. So we've got 700,000, okay? 100,000. Okay, four lots of 10,000. 8,000, okay? Four hundreds, two tens, and three ones. Okay, so this is how we would lay out our place value column headings. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is write our number in words. Okay, so I've got three million, three million, seven hundred and forty eight thousand. Hopefully, I spell all of this right. We write seven hundred and forty eight thousand because all of these digits come under our thousands kind of. Um, section here. So 748,000, we wouldn't write 700,000 for 10,000, it's just 748,000. And then we finish off with, so 748,423. Okay, so that would be how we would write that number in words. Okay, make sure you um, pay attention to your spelling when you're writing out in words. Okay. So the second question says, what would 100 more be than this number? Which digit changes? Which digit would we need to change? So because we're doing 100 more, we are going to be looking at the hundreds digit, okay? Because we're adding on 100. So the hundreds digit in this, um, in our number we've been given is 400, okay? So we have four hundreds um, in this number currently. If we want 100 more, we are increasing by one lot of 100, so that four, changes to a five, okay, because we're increasing just by 100. So our new number would be 3,748,523, okay, because we are only changing the hundreds digit, the rest of the number stays the same. The same, um, the same as if we were taking a hundred from this number, okay, the hundreds digit would decrease by one lot of a hundred, okay, right. So let's have a go at some together. Okay, so we've got two numbers to write in words and then we want to know what is 5,000 more than each of the numbers. Okay, so let's read the number together first. So this one, we've got 1,564,981. Okay, let's write that in words then. So we've got 1 million, Five hundred and sixty-four thousand. Okay, nine hundred and eighty-one. Okay, make sure we're hyphenating those eighty-one sixty-four. Okay, so they need to be hyphenated. Okay, so the second part of the question for each number says, what is 5,000 more than each of the numbers? Okay, so if we're doing 5,000 more, we need to look at the thousands digit. Okay, so let's circle the thousands digit in this number. So we've got ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So the digit four is our thousands digit. And we want five lots of a thousand more. So if we've currently got 4,000 and we want to increase it by 5,000, we'll now have 9,000. Okay, so that four, the digit four changes to a nine. Okay, so 5,000 more than the number would be 1,569,981. Remember, the rest of the number stays the same, okay, because we've got 9,000. Okay, sometimes other digits will change, which you'll see in the next question. Okay, but I'll explain why that is. So let's read the number together then. The second question, we've got, ooh, we've got, 4,505,717. Okay, so the first step, let's write that in words. We've got 4,505,000, okay, 717. Okay, so that's our number in words. So the next step says, what is 5,000 more? Than the number okay so we're increasing by five thousand so remember we need to look at the thousands digit okay so the thousands digit in this number is this digit five 
Okay. So because we're increasing by 5,000, we've currently got 5,000, okay? And we want to add on another 5,000. So then we'll have 10,000, okay? With this one, because now we've got 10,000, we are going to um, have an impact on the 10,000 digit, okay? Because if we added on 5,000, so I'm gonna show you this in a um, column addition um, sum, okay? So if we had 4,505,000, Seven hundred seventeen. Okay, and we are adding on five thousand. Okay, so making sure we're lining up those thousands digits. So we've got five thousand. Okay. Okay, so adding from the ones digit, seven plus zero is seven. One plus zero is one. Seven plus zero is seven. So then we've got the thousands. Five plus five is ten. Okay, so we end up with a zero in our thousands column. Okay, because in ten the one digit is the zero. And we're going to carry the one. Okay, across to the ten thousands column. So that means when we do zero plus one, we'll now have one lot of ten thousand in there. Okay, because um, we have gone into the ten thousands. Okay, so now carrying on. Five plus nothing is five. Four plus nothing is four. Okay, so our answer when we increased by five thousand for this one would have been four million five hundred and ten thousand seven hundred and seventeen. Okay, right. So now it's time for you to have a go at a few questions on your own. Okay, so I'm just going to read through them and then you can pause the screen, have a go, and then come back and we'll go through the answers in just a second. Okay, so the first question says, Teddy's number is 306,042. He adds 5,000 to his number. What is his new number? Okay, so just like we just did in the last question, we're increasing by 5,000, what would the new number be? Um, Dora has the number 824,650. She takes 40,000 away. Her answer is 820,650. Is she correct? Explain how you know. Okay, if she is correct, explain why she's correct. But if you think she's made a mistake, explain why you think she's made the mistake and can you give me the correct answer? Okay, and then the last one says, can you write the following numbers in words? I'm not gonna read these out for you. I want to see whether you can read them out. Remember, say it out loud first and then have a go at writing it yourself. Okay, so pause the screen now, have a go at these questions and then come back to me in just a second and we'll go through the answers together, okay? Lovely. So I hope you've had a real good go at these questions. Let's go through the answers together. So let's look at Teddy's question first. So Teddy's number is 306,042. He adds 5,000 to his number. What is his new number? Okay, so we're increasing the thousands. So we want to look at the thousands digit. So the six is our thousands digit. So we've currently got 6,000 and we want to increase by 5,000. Okay, so we know six plus five is 11 which means because we've ended up with a double digit number, okay, we're going to have an impact on the next place value column to the left, so the 10,000th digit. Okay, so Teddy would have ended up with 311,042. Okay, well done if you got that one correct. Next one, Dora has the number 824,650. She takes 40,000 away. Okay, so I'm just going to write 40,000 for you in digits. Um, in numbers, even. 40,000. Okay, her answer is 820,650. Is she correct? Explain how you know. Okay, so if Dora is taking away 40,000, we know we need to look at the 10,000th digit, okay? So the 10,000th digit in this number would have been the two, okay? And we want to subtract 40,000 away, okay? Four lots of 10,000. Because we've currently got two in the 10,000th digit and we want to take away four, okay? We know we can't do that um, straight away in our heads, maybe, we can maybe. Um, because four is bigger than two. So I'm gonna show you doing it using column subtraction, but there are different ways you could have done it. Okay, so um, let me just get a new page. So 824,650, 
650 and we are subtracting 40,000 okay so take away 40,000 okay so with subtractions we start with the ones column okay so zero plus zero um, sorry not plus take away zero minus zero is zero five minus zero is five Six minus zero is six. Four take away zero is four. Two take away four you can't do, so you need to exchange, okay? So we look we look at the next digit, okay? So the eight, so exchange from the eight, so the eight becomes a seven, okay? Because we're um, exchanging over one lot of 100,000 to the 10,000 digit, okay? So 12 take away four is eight, and seven take away nothing is seven, okay? So we've got the answer should have been 784,650, okay? So what mistake did Dora make, okay? If we look at the, tenth, um, the thousands digit in her original number, she's taken away 4,000 rather than 40,000, okay? So you need to make sure you're really careful with which place value digit you are looking at, okay? So well done if you got that one correct. And then the last one says, can you write the following numbers in words? Okay, so let's read it together first, and then we'll, I'll write the answer down for you. So we have 2,367,425. Okay, so I'm gonna write that one for you. 2,367,425. Have a check of your spelling, okay? I think I spelled all of mine right. <laughs> um, and then the next one is, I'm just trying to make it so you can see it a bit better. That's better. And the next one is seven million eight. Hundred and ninety thousand three hundred and six. Um, note that in this one we've got some zeros in some of the um, we've got di uh, zeros in some places. Okay, we don't have to say three hundred and no tens and six. Okay, if there's a zero, um, we just say three hundred and six. Okay, right. Okay, so I hope you got on really well with those today, okay? Um, join me back tomorrow for session two where we will be comparing um, numbers up to 10 million, okay? Join me back tomorrow then, bye.